Hello, we have about 10 more seconds before we get started. Okay. Okay, so you have your Granny Smith apples. You have your stem here. You need to take that off. I had to get these from my local grocery store because I didn't have time to go to the farmer's market. Um, something about Walmart's apples were bruised up. The ones that's in the bag, they were bruised up pretty bad. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys time to get your stems off your apples. And I only have six here. There's not one in this one. So I'm just twisting my stem. This one is hard to get off. Okay, so you need real lemon juice, and this is just Publix um, store brand, or you can use actual, you can actually use the lemon out of a real lemon. You can use, the, I mean, the real lemon juice out of a lemon, so you can use real lemons as well. This is just regular store brand salt, Larlin, and baking soda. So really you don't need your stove on. When you put water in your pot, and you guys can comment as well, um, because I can see your comments here. So, do not fill this pot up. You do not even have to fill this pot halfway up. As you see, I have probably one fourth filled up. So first things first, you're going to go ahead and put about two tablespoons of baking soda. And as you can see, I don't even measure. So you don't need that much baking soda. About two tablespoons. Okay, so Miss Williams says she tried cleaning her apples and even let them sit for three days and wipe them down and still they bubbled up around the top and why. Okay, so I'm going to tell you why they bubble up at the top it's because when you put your stick in you didn't wipe your apple down good enough and that that's common you just didn't wipe your apple down good enough after you inserted your stick you didn't get around the rim really good you have to really dry that so that's why you were having bubbles when you dip your apples, Miss Williams, when you dip them and you was getting that bubble on top. That's because you didn't get that apple juice. After you insert uh, the apple stick, juice will pop up and you have to get down in the apple and dry that with a dry paper towel. You're welcome. Okay. I know y'all ready for me to dip this apple. So I let my apple go about, you can let it go in between six to eight seconds. I wouldn't go no more than nine. You take your apple out. Take the paper towel. You shake your spoon off. 
you can lay your spoon on the paper towel. I always have a piece of paper towel laying here. And you just wipe your apple down. See what I'm doing? I'm just wiping it down. It'll feel different. And you just place it on the paper towel. Now, I like to place mine. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I like to place mine upside down. I don't know why. And a lot of the times, I dip my apples upside down because it levels out. When you dip them right side up, and they're pretty when you dip them right side up, but sometimes, you know, they don't have enough balance. So I take my apple, I put it on the spoon, and I dip. And you can go in between six to nine seconds. I wouldn't go over nine seconds. You take your apple out. Grab it by the paper towel. You can shake your spoon. It's going to be in the way. Get this cord out the way. And you just wipe your apples down. Don't wipe them like barely tap the apple. You want to really wipe your apple down. Give it a grip here. Okay, I'm going to change out paper towels. I'm going to get my third apple. And I'm just going to repeat the process. I'm going to put my apple on the spoon and I'm going to dip. And you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you're rotating the apple in the water as you do that. You're turning your apple in the water. You hold on to your apple. And you dry the apple off. And you place it down. Okay, you're going to repeat the process. One, two, three, and you rotate it. Four, rotate, five, rotate, six, seven, and eight. Take it out. Shake your spoon off. And then you take your apple and you dry it off. Your apple will feel different. You can feel that wax. So you need to really wipe your apple down. I can feel the wax. I can feel the wax on this. So really wipe it down once you get it out the water. Okay, I have two more. I didn't want to be long today because 
I do have to come back and show you guys how to, I guess, continue to wipe the apples down within the 24 hour period. And then Sunday, I'm getting some paper towel here. And then Sunday, we'll come and dip our apples. One important thing is make sure your house is cool when you dip your apples. Um, try to have your house at 65 degrees. Make sure I had a person in my group. We couldn't figure out why her apples were coming out stinky when her house was at 60 degrees. It was because her humidity in the house was like 68. Uh, your humidity needs to be at least 50%. Uh, percent. So you rotate your apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, Facebook group member. Someone states they're 15 minutes late cutting my grass. Oh, that's totally fine because one thing about um, these videos, you can go back and look at the videos as needed. So you can always go back and look at you know this video once it's over you can go back and look at it so basically we're just cleaning our apples um with the lemon uh the lemon juice from Publix just the store brand um baking soda and salt and you can go back and watch the video to um oh it's Leisha okay so this is the person that i was just talking about um where her house she said her humidity in her house is still jacked up for some reason um she's in a state where it's very 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 humid so between the heat and you know that humid it's just not a good mix with apples so your apples will be sticky so make sure your humidity is at least 50 or below even with her ac she couldn't even get that humidity down it was high i had to call my cousin he um specializes and he's an electrician but he specializes in ac heating and cooling and i was like i have someone in my facebook group and her apples keep being sticky and i don't know why because um her ac is at 60 i believe oh so and now her humidity is at 66 she cannot get that humidity low so he told her i i told you what he said you need it right she needs to he goes well at least you know, he, he said, I really never heard of that. He said, usually the AC will bring that humidity down. But I said, no, hers keep rising. Okay, Miss Williams said um, she had that to happen in Florida. Well, my cousin told me to tell Alicia to go buy a dehumidifier and um he said that may bring that humid out of the house or pull it down. But he said he um, he's never heard of that. He said usually the AC brings, you know, brings that down. Well, I had to turn on my um, AC. It's hot. And I just can't imagine, you know, it being so humid where Alicia lives. Plus, it's like, what, 94, 96 degrees up there? And I think she's in Virginia. Yeah, she's in Virginia. So I'm just wiping down the apple. And you can feel that wax. And this is the last apple. So I'm gonna take this apple and rotate and count. You can count between six to eight seconds. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Like I said, I wouldn't go over nine because that's pretty much cooking. I mean, you'll start cooking your apple and you're not making apple pies. And I just take this and my towel and I just take my towel here and I just wipe down the apple. Okay. So I'm done cleaning these apples. So what I'll do, I'll put my Facebook group down in the link below for those who need it. But I'm telling you guys, I look at everyone that comes in and you must have a real, a valid Facebook. I, I look at that stuff. Um, what I'm going to do, and I'll put that link down below. So what I'll do tonight and tomorrow is I'll come on live only in my group. I may do it. I don't know. I know I'll do it for my group. So, um, and I'll show you how to keep wiping your apples down within the 24 hour um, wait period. So, um, do anyone have any questions about um, cleaning their apples or bubbles on their apples? So, again, Someone said they had bubbles coming on top. Okay, Miss Williams, I'm going to put the page. I'm going to put the page here. Hold on one second. Let me, um, it's pretty tight. This is my little treat room right here. So it's pretty tight in here. Let me uh, see if I can. I had changed the name. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put once this live is over, give me about 10 minutes. Give me about 10 minutes and I'll put the link. Give me about 10 minutes so I can get everything straightened out here and I'll put the link. No, give me about five minutes, not even 10 minutes. Give me about five minutes. And I put the link down in the description, in the description box. And um, that way you will have the link. Because what I'm going to do is, I mean, later on tonight, say maybe you don't have to do this. You're welcome. You don't have to wipe these apples down every hour. Just try to do it at least four or five times within the 24 hour wait period. So I may happen to be making some treats for an order and which I uh, do have something to do. I may go to the apples and say, okay, let me go ahead and give these a good wipe. And look, you can see right now the apple is already turning. So it's not as green as it was when it first started or when I first started. So don't be alarmed. Your apples will turn brown. They will have white substance on it and that's just the wax. And you just keep taking your paper towel and you keep wiping it firm. Firmly wipe your apple down. Don't lightly. Don't lightly wipe the apple down no you need to be rough with it <laughs> you need to be rough you need to be uh pretty rough with it because that's the only way that wax is going to come off uh, miss williams always use a dry paper towel i hear people Say they use a wet paper towel or a wet piece of cloth, white cloth or a kitchen cloth. 
I hear all of that and I'm sure everything is probably fine. But me, ever since I've been dipping apples for two years, I take a dry paper towel. I just do it the way I know how to do it best. I take a paper towel and a dry paper towel and I just, like I'm doing right now, I'm getting ready to wipe these down before I end the video, before I end, end this tutorial. I take a dry paper towel and I just take it and wipe it down. Be pretty firm with it. You just take it, you get the sides, you get the bottom, and you get the top. Okay, so I'm going to get this. I'm just wiping my apple down. You get the bottom, and you get the top. Make sure you get the top. So I'll do this about three or four more times during that wake process. And when probably here in the next hour, I'll start seeing sap. You'll start seeing the sugars um, released from the apples. You'll start seeing all that sticky sap come out the apples. That's fine. Don't be alarmed. Just take your paper towel and you just wipe the apple down. And if you have any kids in the house, this would be something good for them to do to keep them busy. I have a grown little, I have a grown child in the house, but she ain't going to help do nothing. <laughs> okay. And these are my last two. So you just take your paper towel and you firmly just get the bottom, get the sides, and get the top. This is a lot of work. As far as wiping these apples down, if someone can come up with something on uh, this apple cleaning process to make it easier, that will be a blessing. And you can hear it when your apple starts getting squeaky. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. Do anyone have any questions on this cleaning, this apple cleaning process? Hello. So Miss Clarmstrong plus three. I believe she just came in. So I just finished, but um, you can go back and look at the video. And what I used was this Publix. It's just a cheap store brand lemon juice. Just get real lemon juice. And I used baking soda and salt. I didn't fill my pot halfway. I didn't fill it to the top. It's about a fourth down. You don't need that much water. You really don't. And you bring your water to a bowl. You take your spoon. See, look, you can see the wax on the spoon. You take your apple, place it on the spoon, and you dip it in the water between six to eight seconds. You bring it out. You bring it out, and you take your apple, and you dry your apple. Then you place it down on your paper towel 
and within that 24 hour wait period you just keep coming you don't have to do this every hour on the hour no ma'am because if you had to do this every hour on the hour for 24 hours uh the diy queen diva would not be dipping any candy apples for no one so just do this at least four or five times yeah you can see the wax come off you can see the wax in there so you um come back about four or five times spaced out in between and you know as far as hours and you just take your paper towel and you just wipe it down i've already done all these because i had started at eight o'clock but um you can always go back and watch this tutorial to see everything and that's one thing about every last one of my videos on youtube if you missed out on something you can always go back and look at it if you didn't catch on you can rewind it and look at it even with the candy apple bows you can always rewind fast forward you can do it at your speed um so like i told people tonight and between tonight and tomorrow i'll be on in my facebook group and i'm going to put the facebook group link down in the description down in the description below um so if you want to join like i said just make sure you have a legit facebook page in order to get in my group because i do look at every last um one of those profiles i even scroll in your pictures so um just have a legit facebook and um you can come in the group and then i'll show you between tonight and tomorrow how to keep cleaning these apples during the 24 hour wait period you're so welcome um i just want to make this easy I, I i say this all the time two years ago i started making apples i started making treats i did join um a few good groups i must say but you had people out there also being so negative you know being a new treat maker you don't know if you're doing something right you don't know if you're doing something wrong and one thing about my group i you know everyone got to respect everyone first of all and everyone is going to feel comfortable in my group posting their treats whether you are a beginner or pro you're not going to disrespect someone so um and that's the whole point of my group that's the reason why i created this group is to help new treat makers learn how to make candy apples candy apple bows candy apple sticks strawberries whatever i possibly can if there's something that i don't knew I, well if there's something that i don't know you better believe i know somebody that can do it very well and i'll put that person's name and group in my group and another thing about my group if you have anything that you're selling or you have a facebook group and it's treat related you're more than welcome any time of the day to post your treat group or what you're selling so um yes yes Miss Plus Three said a safe place makes beginners feel comfortable to express any concerns. You are exactly right. And you're so welcome. And that's the reason why I have this YouTube channel and that Facebook group. So between the two, you're going to learn something. And I just want a safe good positive place for you all to come to without feeling uncomfortable thinking someone is going to say something mean about what you post look let me tell you something when i first started making candy apples the very first day i the diy queen diva could not 
get my candy to even stick on the apple. My candy was sliding down. Well, one of the reasons, and I, I, I cleaned my apples really, really good. And I just knew I was going to have the perfect candy apple. Well, that candy did not stick on my apple. And I'm going to tell you why. It wasn't because I didn't clean it good. I had the apples clean to a T. It was because I didn't have a candy thermometer and I was just guessing like you all. I know you guys are doing the same thing I was doing. I didn't even have a candy thermometer to make sure my candy was reaching 300. So I was dipping my apples too soon and I was like, dang, my candy is coming off my apple. It was like coming off like water. So I know how it is to be a new treat maker. I mean, you learn, you have to learn. We all have to learn. We all have to learn. Oh, Miss Williams says she just had that problem. Yep, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I really, really, really do know. So what I'll do tonight is once I'm done here, since I'm already done um, cleaning these apples and you can see, you know, the wax here, you can see the wax on my spoon. I mean, these apples have so much wax. It's crazy how much wax comes off these apples. But um, I'm going to go ahead, like I said tonight, I'm going to show my Facebook group how to continue to wipe down the apples until Sunday when we dip. We're going to dip these apples Sunday. These are the, um, Leisha, these are the Granny Smith apples. Um, I didn't have time to go. I usually get them from my farmer's market, but I didn't have time to go to my farmer's market. I went to Walmart and they didn't have good apples. I don't know what's going on, but they were bruised pretty bad. So I just ran to my local grocery store and grabbed six. You know, I just picked them up and grabbed them. And um, yeah, these are Granny Smith apples. These are the single ones, but I was looking for the bad ones. Even in my local grocery store, the bad apples were bruised up. So I don't know if it's something going on um, with the bag apples or what. I had to individually go pick, you know, hand pick these. Okay, someone said they're from Michigan and they miss the apples at home because they don't have the wax on them. I know. Um, I am... I, there's an apple orchard about 30 minutes away from me. So I may just go pick my apples off the apple tree. <laughs> I may just start going to pick. I may just start picking my apples off the apple trees. Um, <laughs> I mean, but they are North Carolina apples. And out there, those apples are huge. They're like, you put two of these together. So they're too big. And that's why I don't really like fooling with those out there because they're too big to even dip. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't get that deep out there. But um, what I am going to do once I'm done, I'm not going to keep uh, saying this over and over because I know you guys are probably tired of me saying this. But I'm going to put my Facebook group down below. So that you guys can come and join and so that you can see see this one look at this one compared to this one see they're already turning when i said they will turn don't be alarmed and when you see the white substance on the apples that's just the wax look at this one compared see this one's i don't know let me try to get air in the camera you see the difference this one is darker so they're turning already and if I wait about 30 more minutes, you guys will see the sap come out the apples. 
and they're feeling sticky now. I can feel I can feel the sugar coming releasing out this apple. So I'm gonna put that Facebook link down in the description below. What y'all wanna do? Y'all wanna sit out and chill and talk? I mean, <laughs> do you guys have any questions? I'm here. I'm just ready for you guys to get these apples down pat. I want to see these apples. So, okay. It was good coming on tonight. I do miss you guys. I do miss doing these lives. I really do. And um, I guess if you're in my Facebook group, yeah, I'm always in there. We're always in there having a good time. Um, I like to post. I don't know where you are from, but I post every now and then, you know, the black bears that we see here. So it's pretty normal. <laughs> so I like to get a kick out of the reaction. But we, you know, keeping it all the way real, um, I do post a lot. I post a lot about candy apples. I post a lot about a lot of stuff and um, I do a lot of candy apple bows. So I know those can be hard to make, but I try to make it easy to make. Okay, Miss Plus Three. Okay, yeah, I can't wait for you to join um, either, Miss Williams. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. So you guys um, can get that link to my group. And this way tonight and tomorrow and all the way up to Sunday. Well, I wouldn't say I think probably tonight and Saturday I have these pretty good and cleaned. So but I'll keep coming in my Facebook group showing you guys what I'm doing. Oh, thank you. Miss Plus 3 said I make the prettiest bows. Thank you. I, I try to make it really easy and simple for um, you guys, you know. Even if you can't get it, there's other ways that you can make bows. You don't have to make bows. You can make bows with the little twist ties. And, I mean, that leopard bow that I did with the twist tie, I like that bow better than I like all the other bows. And that's with the twist tie. So, okay. So if you guys don't have any other questions, I'm going to go ahead and end this live. And I'll see you in my Facebook group here in a few seconds. All right. Bye. I enjoyed you guys. And don't forget to come back Saturday and Sunday. Um... Okay, so Saturday, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. So tomorrow, come back tomorrow, and I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to wipe these apples down. You can still be in my Facebook group as well, and I'm still going to show them how to do it as well. But, yeah, that's why I do Saturday. Saturday, I'll come back and show you how to keep wiping these apples down. And Sunday... My Facebook group, we're going to dip them, and I may come on Sunday. Yeah, I'll probably come back on here, too, as well, and show you how to dip them. So let's go ahead and make that a plan. We'll come on tomorrow here as well. My Facebook group actually sees this. This live that we're doing right now, it's in my Facebook group. So they can see. They can see what I'm doing right now with you guys. Um... So, where was I at? So, yeah. So, that's what we'll do. Tomorrow, I'll come on and show you guys how to finish cleaning your apples. And I'll show you the difference. This one is turning really, I mean, it's really turning. So, it's going to have to be wiped down some more. That sugar, I can feel the sugar. I can feel that sugar. It's getting really sticky. So you really got to make sure these apples are wiped down. Okay, so I'm out of here. And I'll see you tomorrow if you're here.
in YouTube, and I'll see you in a few in my Facebook group if you're in my Facebook group. Bye-bye. It don't want to end. <laughs>